Hey there, explorers. My name is Tom. And my name is Molly. Today, Tom and Molly want to know the differences between a warm-blooded animal and a cold-blooded animal. Yes, yeah, so what are the differences between a cold-blooded animal and a warm-blooded animal? Okay, so let me explain. Warm-blooded means the animal keeps its body temperature the same, no matter the weather outside, even if it's scorching hot or freezing cold. Animals that are warm-blooded are mammals and birds. Other examples of warm-blooded animals are cats, or lions, and even owls. Wow, that's so interesting. Wait, how do they stay warm in the winter and what about the summer? Do they drink lemonade like I do when it's hot outside? Well, they may drink water to keep themselves cool, but maybe not lemonade. But they do eat food that creates energy. That keeps their body warm during the winter and they keep themselves cool during the summer by sweating, shredding, and even panting. So what is a cold-blooded animal then? Well, Molly, a cold-blooded animal is slightly different. Their body temperature changes depending on the weather outside. If the weather is hot, their body temperature warms up. And if it's cold, their body temperature cools down. Examples of cold-blooded animals are fishes, reptiles. Wow, look at that great big lizard and even amphibians. Hey, little froggy. Now, let's test your knowledge. Can you help Tom and Molly by telling them if this animal is a warm-blooded animal or a cold-blooded animal? I will give you some time to think. Did you say a warm-blooded animal? Well, that's correct. Great job. Great job, guys. We learned so much today about warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals. Don't worry if you don't remember it all. We got a free revision sheet you can download at the bottom of this video, so you don't forget the awesome knowledge you have learned today.